Hello, I care practitioners. Welcome to Optometry Reels. Have you ever come across a situation when your patient has two different glasses and the visual equity with each of these glasses is 6 by 6 or 20 by 20? Then how do you decide that which among these two is more accurate for your patients? You might have also seen a situation where auto refractometer is giving one value and patient is accepting something else. Sometimes patient is even confused between the two different prescription. Then how do you ensure that which among these two is more accurate? How do you make sure that your prescription is not undercorrected or overcorrected? So well, to decode this all mystery, we are going to make you learn duochrome test. This test is used for the monocular subjective refraction, which can be done monocularly as well as binocularly. So please be present with us till the end to learn every minute details of this duochrome test. This duochrome test consists of duochrome chart, which uses distance equity chart with a black letter or symbols on a green and red background. This test is also known as bichrome test, which is usually done for the distance. Friends, I have a doubt. Since red green filters are used in this test, will this still be applicable for the color deficient patient? This test is based on axial or longitudinal chromatic aberration, not on the color discrimination. Hence, this test can even be performed on the color deficient patient. As we all know, the light consists of seven different colors. So the shorter wavelength of light, which is green, is refracted more by the eye than the longer wavelength of light, which is red. In immetropic eye, the letters on both background of duochrome chart are equally clear as optics of the eye refract rays at equidistance from the retina to maintain the circle of less confusion. And this is what we aim even for the myopic and hyperopic eye with full correction. If your patient says that later on green background is better, it means that you have undercorrected hyperopia or overcorrected myopia. When your patient says that later on the red background is better, then it shows that hyperopia is overcorrected, or if it's myop, then it is undercorrected. And many literature supports that myopia should be undercorrected and hyperopia should be overcorrected. So it means minimum minus for the myopia and maximum plus for the hyperopia should be given. As per recent literatures, the letters on the red-green background of the duochrome should be equally clear and sharp to have the optimum refraction. This test can be performed at two different points during refraction. One after base vision sphere before JCC or even you can perform after JCC to finalize your refraction. The prerequisites for duochrome test is the duochrome chart. You need to have a trial frame and the trial lenses and the room has to be deimmunated. Let me show you how duochrome can be done on actual patients. So minus one we have got on the fogging and even the same was for the auto refractometer. So I'm going to put this in trial frame and since this test is monocular, so I have to occlude an eye and I have to ask the response. So make sure that you should be asking the letters on which background is sharp and clear. Can you see? Great. So green is better. It suggests that in a myopia, it is overcorrected. So I have to reduce this value. So from minus one, I'm going to make it 0.75 by adding plus 0.25. Now, can is Both equal sharp and clear. So let us on both background are equally sharp and clear. It means we have achieved the optimum correction. So I'll change it again to minus 0.75 with one lens and I ask the response. Both equal sharp and clear. So hence this is the actual value that we require to prescribe her for the right eye. From minus one, we got 0.75. So it means that earlier prescription was overcorrected. So duochrome tests help us refine our spherical values. So it gives us a spherical endpoint. So if you want to make sure that your refraction is neither overcorrected or undercorrected, you should perform duochrome tests for all your patients. Hope this video was clear and informative to you. Please like and share the video and subscribe. Optometry Race!